Meeting with lawmakers today, just a day ahead of a trip that he has planned for the border. Uh, Channel 2's Jacob Rascone has more on last night's fireworks. Hey, good morning, guys. This was the president's chance to make his case in front of a national TV audience and for the Democratic leadership to respond. There wasn't much new in these speeches. The president still asking for $5.7 billion for a border barrier. But what was unusual about what happened, according to the political expert we talked to, was that instead of a debate about ideas, it turned into an argument about who had the higher moral ground. There is a growing humanitarian and security crisis at our southern border. In his first Oval Office speech, President Donald Trump wanted all Americans to know who he blamed for the extended government shutdown. For one reason, and one reason only, because Democrats will not fund border security. And in their rebuttal, Democrats did the same. American democracy doesn't work that way. We don't govern by temper tantrum. Full of misinformation and even malice. The president has chosen fear. It's broke. Jim Granato is the executive director of the Hobby School of Public Affairs at the University of Houston. Let's debate these things in public, and that's what that's the way it used to be. Both bases and both parties are just completely seeing this in, the, in, in completely different terms, and there's no willingness to compromise. Instead of public debate, the president and Democratic leadership argued about values and morality. This is a humanitarian crisis, a crisis of the heart and a crisis of the soul. Manufacture a crisis, stoke fear. A sign that the government shutdown will remain that way, Jim says, for the foreseeable future. And if nothing changes in the next couple of days, this will be the longest government shutdown on record. The political expert that we talked to said expect that to happen. Another option the president has talked about and threatened to do is to declare a national emergency and fund the wall without Congress, something that wouldn't be unprecedented, the political expert said, but would be immediately challenged in court. The president will visit the southern border in a couple of days, and we will be traveling right along there with him. Reporting in Houston, Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News.